Hi everyone, um, this is a quick tutorial on the Pokemon trading card game online. I'm going to show you um, the chat room and where to find binders. Um, the only reason why is because I played the beta and um, the new interface could be pretty confusing for um, people who are going back in or are just starting. So I thought this might be useful uh, if people have the question because uh, it's not listed on the Pokemon website of how to find it or the FAQ here. Um, as you can see, it does look a lot better, which is great. Um, probably this interface is supposed to be uh, friendly for the iPad, which we'll be releasing here soon. So here we go. So this is the uh, um, main menu after you log in. So after you log in, you're going to go ahead and go to uh, any, actually any one of these um, options to go to the chat room. Uh, the chat room is available at all times outside of the, um, the, uh, main screen. So let's just go to uh, collection. Um, so as you, I'm in the collection screen. So the top left and right um, corners, you have tabs. The left corner is for interacting socially, um, whether through private messages, seeing your friends list and notifications. Um, so that's notifications. This is your chat room actually. And this is your friends list. So this could uh, stay out and in while you change screens actually. So I'm gonna go ahead and leave this open. Um, on the right tab, your, the right tab is your like uh, menu tab where it goes um, to the different screens to access to, to access different menus uh, such as uh, challenges, entering tournaments, the shop, and things that uh, your personal deck manager collection and uh, your trade. So we're going to go ahead and go to trade and oh, okay, I guess it did change before this used to stay out, but um, I guess not, but you can leave this open while doing stuff in the trade menu. So for example, if I wanted to create a trade with uh, the public, this could still be left on and you could like see if anyone has a public trade here or something going on who's looking for and you could kind of shuffle through um your collection and do that however you cannot resize this menu while this is going on so unfortunately it does get in the way if you want to like go to your um pokemon tab so that's pretty unfortunate other than that uh you can you can leave it open while you're doing stuff so that's kind of useful so the main reason why i made this tutorial is to show um the chat rooms and the and the uh um finding binders for people so on your left tab, again, this selection here is your chat room. You're going to go to um, this plus sign right here. And the plus sign, these are the the uh, the rooms that they have open for different things. So one room is for battle challenges, one's casual strategy, deck building, new player chat, etc. So did you go ahead and click whatever you want? And currently I have um, the trading one uh, open. So I'm going to get out of that real quick. Yes, so in this conversation. So when you first log in, the general chat will be, um, get out of this all. Oh, let's leave it there. Um, the general chat will be the first thing that you're always in. So that's the main lobby where everyone's always in. Now, to find specific ones, you click here. Let's say I want to go to trading. I'm going to go to trading, and you see people trading and what they're offering. Now, if you don't know some of the lingo, um, LF is looking for, um, EX is the type of po um, Pokemon it is, so looking for Pokemon EX. Um, FA stands for Full Art, and Full Art um, ones look kind of like this. If you're new to the game, it might be uh, actually uh, cool. So these are like Full Arts um, cards, and they take the full card. They still have, uh, so that's actually not a Full Art. Um, this is a full art. It takes the whole card, um, still lists the stuff, and it just looks really pretty versus like, here's a regular EX one that's not a full art, um, versus like a fancier one like this. So you could tell the difference between full arts. Um, FUF right now stands for Furious Fist Packs, and that's the latest expansion currently. Um, LF stands for Looking For. And other than that, um, some of the other shortcuts are just describing like an abilities like 
SR, something for Mega Charizard has. I forgot what it was. I don't have Mega Charizard. Um, and the Garbodor has a. I forgot what it was called. SR something. Um, but yeah. So those are some of the lingo there. If you have any questions, you can probably comment and put that up. Anyway, so there's the trade. It's probably one of the main things you'll be doing. So some people say bind her up. So we'll use that as an example. So this guy, Shogun Warrior. His binder is up. He's looking for a seismitoad, EX and regular, and he's looking for that alone. Okay, so let's go look at Shogun Warrior. So because I can leave this up, um, I could just exit out of this. It'll still stay up. But unfortunately, because the chat is moving, um, you have to kind of like put him to the top because it'll always go down. So Shogun Warrior, let's go take a look at his binder. So we're going to go to create a chat or sorry, create a trade um, up here in the uh, menu. Remember, I'm in the trade section. So create a trade and instead of public trade, you want to go to private trade and it'll open up to this screen where it's create a new trade and your choice of choosing between your friends that you have on your list or um, listening to the public and this is the public people uh, people actually who are currently in Pokemon um, that have uh, selected things for trade and I'll make another tutorial for that later um, so yeah so we're look at uh, the Shogun Warrior guy and since his binder is updated so go to search for him here show gun warrior so type the whole name you're going to go ahead accept I'm going to minimize this and so when you're in this screen you are um, trading with Shogun Warrior but you haven't initiated anything so he can't see what you have currently or what you're trying to do so you can make offers privately before you actually offer it to him which is really nice it's not like it's live where he could uh, um, you know be like why did you do that you're stupid or blah blah blah, blah. He's, you're just making an offer so you look through all the stuff now in the filters you can filter um, the cards based on certain stuff so for example uh, types of cards that you want to see attack cost what's the what's the current um, format uh, expansions if you're looking for maybe a certain card and also a full art stuff here legendaries Pokemon EXs etc so Everything's already marked for trade for him. You can't get rid of that because these are things that he's already marked in his collection for trade. Um, so I'm going to put um, standard. So we have, there's a lot of Pokemon here and right now it's listed by name. Um, so you just do whatever you want. So for if there's stuff that you marked in that you, that you want, you just click that and you can see what you want. If they have it in their collection, so that makes it really easy. If you, if someone says binder is up and you're only looking for, looking for a few cards or specific cards, uh, you could just hit um, for one in the whole collection, and you just get what you want. Um, for value wise, I usually just go to check off Pokemon EX Legend Full Art, um, just to see what kind of fancy stuff they got here for trade. Um, so you could look at that if you want to trade some of uh, your Pokemon for these nice fancy ones. Uh, people right now use packs as some sort of currency, but this guy has like a fancy thing. Um, but packs as currency um, to trade for really good cards. And other than that, like I said, you could do search by rarity. So if you're looking for like just rares, search by that too. And you can also change like the card type and just do like just grass so it's really nice the system's actually really nice the only thing I don't like in this screen is um, you can't uh, you know see it in a, a grid like um, fashion instead you have to scroll through every single one of them which really sucks other than that um, let's just do a hypothetical trade Let's say I want this B drill. I want two of these B drills. So when you're ready, um, just go ahead and click whatever box you want. So this is what I'm giving. So right now, it's it's the filter does not change, and you have to mark off uh, stuff that you from your collection. So for example, you have marked stuff that you want to trade in your collection, but you don't want that. If you, if you really know what you want to trade, 
um, you just kind of mark, um, move it around really. So I'm gonna hit standard. Let's just say I want to trade something really good for this B drill because it's my favorite Pokemon in the world. I'm gonna go ahead and have this full art shaman. Why don't you? Uh, yeah. So after that, after you um, set your trade, you can edit at any time, either looking through his collection more or adding more stuff uh, to trade for, you hit done. And that is about it. So this is how you view people's binders, how you sort through them, what you can look for, and also it all applies to uh, um, trainer cards, energy cards, packs, etc., whatever they want. So you, they can mark anything they want in their binder and this will be their binder. So yeah. That is the tutorial. Thank you for watching. If you want to add me on the Pokemon thing, my um, name is Sanoshi Cross, all stuck together. Other than that, hope you guys uh, thought this was useful. Thanks.